I used to have a lychee martini with friends at happy hour almost weekly. However, I haven't had one since mid-March of 2020, you know. When I saw canned lychee on sale at my local grocery store, I was excited. I wanted to try my hand at making it at home. Grab your favorite baka and follow along. First, you'll need lychee, of course. Many recipes call for a lychee liqueur. That can take weeks to make, so we're just gonna use the juice that comes in the can. We'll also make a lychee syrup. Next, you'll need your favorite vodka, unflavored, and then vermouth. Vermouth gives martinis a complexity to their taste. With its sweet and herbal flavors, it can help balance out the taste of the spirits like vodka and gin. For this, we'll also need lime juice, just a few splashes here or there. Don't forget your martini glass. And of course, a cocktail shaker. I love this one. It has the recipes for different drinks all along the side and a filter on top. I will show you how to make a cocktail using both lychee syrup and the lychee juice that comes in the can. That way we can see which one works better. First, let's crack up in our can of lychees. You can see the nutritional facts here. It's very high in sugar. Now, I mentioned earlier using vermouth to add to the martini. Um, that is optional, but it can give the martini a silky mouthfeel, enhance the scent with fragrant elements, and even enhance a dry martini if you're using a dry vermouth. We'll be using a sweet vermouth for this cocktail. Lychee is a type of Asian fruit with a tough but thin peel, like an avocado. It feels a bit like a plum, but tastes more like a sweeter pear. These, as you can see, have been peeled and pitted. The color of the fruit is a pale yellow, just like the inside of a pear as well. I'll give the lychee juice a little taste and it's pretty good. So first, let's start with making the syrup. We'll need half a cup of sugar. Of course, I only have brown sugar on hand. So I'll be using that. You'll want to add the sugar to a small saucepan and don't do what I did, which is wait for the saucepan to get hot. <laughs> Go ahead and add about half a cup of water. Be sure to keep stirring the sugar until it dissolves. You don't want it sticking to the bottom. You can see it's already sticking because I waited for it to be hot before I poured in the uh, sugar. Go ahead and add in two lychees as it continues to simmer. You can go ahead and lower the heat and allow the syrup to simmer. Once the syrup is done, you can go ahead and turn the heat off and let it cool for 10 minutes.
time to make our martini. Grab your cocktail shaker. I love this one because it has recipes and measurements of popular drinks all along the side. Pour two ounces of lychee juice. This tall shot glass is exactly two ounces. Next, add in one and a half ounce of your favorite vodka. I chose Smirnoff, which is a classic. If you'd like, you can use gin instead or even a clear rum. This is optional, but I'm going to add the sweet vermouth. Next is the lime juice. Just a splash will do. Lastly, fill your cocktail shaker with ice. You want to make sure you have ice on hand for this one. Why is the ice always so hard to remove from these trays? I think a couple more cubes ought to do it. Okay. Then add the top back to your cocktail shaker and give it a good shake. Shaking our cocktail with ice will help to dilute our mixture a bit and reduces the intensity of the vodka. It also quickly chills our drink. All done. Let's grab our martini glass and pour it through the filter. That looks pretty good so far. Slide two lychees through a toothpick and add it to our drink as a garnish. Now for the martini with lychee syrup. So go ahead and add in about two ounces of your lychee syrup. And then an ounce and a half of your vodka. As you can see, I can either use the measurements on the side or I can use a shot glass for measuring. Add in a little bit of that sweet vermouth. And last but not least, the lime juice. Just a couple of splashes. We'll add our top back on and give this a good shake. This will help to reduce the sweetness of the syrup. Alright, I think we're done. Let's grab our martini glass. And pour it through the filter again. We're gonna go ahead and use the lychees that we made with the syrup. They're a bit cooked, but should still be pretty good. Time for the taste test. Let's see which one tastes closer to what I would have at a bar. First, the one with lychee syrup. Mmm. 
tastes pretty good, but it, the syrup definitely gives it a heavier and sweeter taste. Now time for the one made with lychee juice. As you can see, the color is definitely closer to what you would get in a bar. And let's give it a taste. Mmm, it's really good. It's light, crisp, refreshing. I think I would like to have a drink like this in the spring or summertime. This is definitely a lot closer to what a bartender would make. Hmm. I can see myself drinking the one made with lychee syrup in the fall or winter time, maybe at a steakhouse with a side of mashed potatoes or something more hearty. Well, that's it. Since you're the bartender, you can always adjust the recipe to your liking. You can add a little bit more syrup, less juice, more vodka, however you prefer. If you made this martini, post a photo with the hashtag LifeSkillsLuckyStar and let me know how it went. And if you made any substitutions like using gin or some type of flavored rum, share in the comments below. Thanks for watching.